Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring you guys this Queen of the Damn look. I absolutely adored Aaliyah and I loved her in this movie. Um, so I decided to do a uh, Akasha look with a spin on it. I hope you guys like it. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. I'm starting with my face complete. I'm just working on my eyebrows using a reference picture. I started with a gel liner and then I went in with a pencil just to make it darker. Once I got the shape I wanted, I went into my concealer, cleaning up the top and bottom of my brows. I grabbed my LA Colors palette that I got from the dollar store and began to build up colors on my crease. a smoky brown color building it up on the outer corners of my eyes to make sure it was blended I grabbed my blending brush with the crease colors I used not adding more product to it but I just used it to blend the smoky color that I just used then I went in with a small angle brush and then a fluffy angle brush adding black to the corners of my eyes Still using the reference picture, I winged out uh, the shadow so it can mimic how Akasha's eyeshadow was. And it's okay if you don't get it perfect, you can always go back into your concealer and clean up the lines. For the inner corners of my eyes, I used my Milk Mix Pencil. And then I went in with um, this shimmer shadow in the color purple that I got from the dollar store. Followed by black liner to my waterline. And if you wanted to stop here and just rock this look, you could just throw some lip gloss on and you're pretty much done. But if you like all the gory stuff like I do, keep watching. I applied liquid latex to my neck with my sponge brush. Then I ripped pieces of tissue and placed it over the latex, followed by another layer of liquid latex. And then I blow dried it. And then I followed the same steps over and over again for about four times. And I did two... Um, lines for the scar. Mm. 
you could do more layers if you wanted to, but four layers was good enough for me. Once it was completely dry, I began to cut slashes in between the latex. I grabbed my spirit gum, which is a skin adhesive, just to stick the latex to my skin in the middle because it was lifting up. <laughs> to take away the shine of the liquid latex, I grabbed my translucent powder and dust it around the wound. I added foundation and then powder. Then I grabbed a Q-tip and dipped it in my red Halloween paint, adding it to the inside of the top wound. I wanted it to look like some of my bone was showing, so I grabbed um, some cotton and placed it in the middle of my neck, and then I added more cotton to the side of the wound, just so it can um, thicken up the area, so it can look just gross and really meaty when I put the blood in. Once I had the cotton placed in the areas I like, I started to add blood. I went back and forth between my bloody scab blood, which is thicker, and then some runny blood. That's the final look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you let me know what you think in the comments and like, subscribe, and um, make sure you click the bell on the side so you can get notified next time I drop a video.